Welcome to Buy Buyers YouTube. Today we're gonna have an adventure over here at Disneyland. Main Street Electrical Merch has just dropped. Holy smokes. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the color bit. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fired up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. <laughs> it is about 7.40 in the morning. It is pretty chaotic. Main Street Electrical Merch is just selling out left and right. For some reason, they got the crowds just stacking over here on Main Street. Oh my gosh. Wow. Holy smokes. Oh my lanta. I don't even know how this is going down in here, but it is. All right, we'll try to navigate this. They take you to Magical Foodies. Let me look at the ears, because everything's now behind the counter. Over here at the Emporium, it's nuts. Uh, but these actually glow in the dark. These Maester Electrical ears glow in the dark. And they're being sold for 40 bucks. Uh, it's chaotic in here. Whoever sees this video, just be aware it's nuts today. <laughs> also, too, out of nowhere, I didn't even know this was gonna be sold today. Oh my gosh, Elliot Plush. This has probably been the hottest ticket so far. I've seen a lot of people holding this today. And uh, this was originally like out and about over here at Emporium, but everything's like I'm saying, gone behind the counter. This is so cool. Uh, Elliot was being sold for $29.99. How cool is this? That is awesome. Also, too, Main Street Electrical now has a 50th anniversary mug. When you do pour hot water, uh, it does like kind of steam up in some areas. But it changes color. I just want to showcase it. It looks like it. That's cool. Oh my lanta. So originally, all the merch got posted out there, but it just got too chaotic. They put everything behind the counters now. That's cool. And it is being sold for, oh, doesn't have a price. Oh no, here we go. 20 bucks, 20 bucks for the mug. Also to you, they got this wishable. Everything's 50 anniversary. That is so cool. And it uh, goes in dark, it's fluorescent. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. Also over here at the Emporium, these are the pins that have come out. Uh, I guess some of this stuff is also on Shop Disney. I'm not sure which ones are or aren't. Uh, there is one more 50th electrical or Main Street Electrical Parade pin. It's like a Mickey. It's kind of creepy Mickey if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, it's not available over here. But these are the ones if you are interested. If they haven't sold out, every, everything's... This is like the hottest merch I've seen in a long time at Disneyland. It's crazy. There's a dress too. I'm surprised this is here. Usually stuff like this is at the Disney dress shop, but uh, it has a Main Street Electrical Parade ribbon on the waistline. This is cool. I like this. Also, we have Main Street Electrical Parade spare jersey merch for the dogs or your pets. They haven't released the spare jersey for uh, like the adults. I'm guessing that'll be at some point when it calms down a little bit, but these are being sold at the Emporium. Another cool thing that they do have for today are these light up necklaces. That is so cool. Can't wait to see all those down Main Street later on today. And then just to give everybody an idea of what it looks like out here at Emporium, straight nuts. It is 8, 10 in the morning. A lot of lines going down for pins over here as well at the pin shop. And we were able to mobile order our Elliott bucket and our sipper from Refreshment Corner. We got the sipper through mobile order at 7 a.m. And then uh, the popcorn bucket, I was able to get it at Galactic Grill through mobile order. So I don't know if how crazy long lines, if that's even happening. We'll take a look over there. I'm just gonna keep searching for merch if there's more merch to be found for Main Street Electrical Parade. That's the main thing I wanna do this morning. For all the people that weren't lucky enough to get the mobile order of the sipper that's at Refreshment Corner, uh, I'm not too sure where else they're selling it right now. I know the rumor was Trebador Tavern, but I haven't checked. But this is the line. It starts uh, at the 
arcade area, Crystal Arcade, which is a Corio. Holy smokes. Fired up. <laughs> Heck yeah. Over here at the hub, they do have the popcorn bucket right there for Elliot, and it is crazy, obviously. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a good visual. I have my mobile order in about 15 minutes, so I'll have one in hand. But let's take a look. Oh, my Lanta, there it is. This is so cool. Hopefully this goes like a smooth process. We're here for a mobile order galactic grill. <laughs> Big thank you to Like It Is for letting me look at this wishable. Uh, it's just crazy to try to even hold the merch or look at the merch. It's all behind the counters and it's just nuts at the shops right now. But these are the wishables and uh, they're what sold for, I think they're like probably 15 bucks if I'm not mistaken. These are cool. Good luck everybody. Finally got my hands on the popcorn bucket, even though mine's not a popcorn bucket. If you do get it from Galactic Grill, uh, you get french fries. So mine didn't come with popcorn, at least I don't, yeah, mine didn't come with popcorn. This one does light up somewhere. There it is. So it lights up from the bottom. That's cool that they made it very easy to replace the batteries too whenever you want. But this is it. We got Elliot popcorn bucket, which is incredible. This is so incredible in person. Oh my goodness. And uh, they do allow two per mobile order and I'm glad I'm able to get one. Cause this is like the hottest ticket today. It's incredible. It is incredible. All right, so we're just waiting for our mobile order uh, over here at Refreshment Corner, which uh, is at 9.10, so we're not that far away. Look at this, talk about cute. <laughs> so I was able to get this to Refreshment Corner. Uh, you do get a soda with it, and you, if you're lucky enough to be one of the people that got mobile order, you can just walk up and get one, but there's a huge line. Uh, from what I've heard, you could actually get this same sipper uh, over there at the Chimichanga line at Thunder Mountain. So a lot of people are like, they don't know about that yet because everybody's just walking in and the first thing they see is a huge line of refreshment corner. So people have just been waiting in that, but this is what it looks like. It does light up. The button's right there at the bottom. How cool is that? And then uh, this is a sipper. That's where the top is. Taking a break from the madness and everything that's going on over here at Disneyland. Pretty wild day, but it's been a lot of fun. I'm, I'm gonna actually still check out Jolly Holiday and see what treats are available over there. And uh, Penny Arcade and see what treats are available over there because a lot of Bay Street Electrical stuff has dropped today too. So we got that to do. It's been a lot of fun, but I'm glad I get a little break. <laughs> I'm inside the Penny Arcade over here on Main Street to check out what treats are available here. I don't see anything Main Street Electrical, so maybe it'll be just like kind of like a Jolly Holiday uh, type of thing. These are new right here though. Mickey! Love you, Mickey! <laughs> I 
I love you. Just got done with all the craziness for merch. This is what used to be Tarzan's Treehouse. Uh, they actually took that marketing that said Tarzan's Treehouse, like on the walls. They've taken it down. Uh, we don't know what this is going to be now. Whatever retheme is going to happen out here. You know, all the rumors in Kanto and stuff like that. So who knows? But I'll keep everybody posted uh, once we get some word. Uh, and they did say that demolition has happened, which was the entrance right there. So that's probably completely different from whatever it looked like before. Yeah, now what, what's that for? What's the purpose of that? Wait, to hold my popcorn. Well, what's your stomach for? What's popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> hold my enemies. Popcorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Over here next to Pirates of the Caribbean exit, we have the Blue Bayou that has now gone down for refurbishment. That is right. I know there was a lot of walls going up because Pirates of the Caribbean was closed, but it is now down for refurbishment, unavailable from what I have heard. This is just what I have heard. And it's actually written on the Orange County Register that it is set to return um, before Fantasmic. That's the big key. And it looks like there's some exterior work already going down. Probably some sanding going down and just new paint. And here we got the, I think what used to be the old Club 33 entrance, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see. We'll keep a close eye on what, what this is all about refurbishment wise. And then the day it opens, I promise to let everybody know here on Five Fires YouTube. When to uh, get your reservations. We have made our way now to 
in front of a uh, French market to check out the construction yeah. update that everybody's been waiting for because this has been behind walls for quite a while now. And then look, yeah. you tell so, us what we're looking at because this is a lot to kind of so take in right here. You can see people are like, oh, this looks weird here. But um, the ground used to be level with the, with the lamppost. And then there was a raised platform here and then stairs that went down that direction. Uh, it was great for watching Fantasmic. Um, they would also have like the bootstrapper pirate band playing over here on the raised platform. Sometimes Tiana was over here too. Uh, I kind of have a feeling they might not do that over here anymore. Yeah, I don't so know. I'm guessing, uh, if you look at, well, right now we can't see it because the walls are all here, but they've extended the walls all the way to Pirates. Uh, and this would normally, in my opinion, they're just going to make the Pirates queue extend all the way to over here uh, and permanently, I think, be on the inside of these lanterns, leaving the walkway free over here. So that's kind of how I figure it's going to be. Uh, the planter here was greatly reduced, as was that one. And they did a really good job matching the brickwork with the existing one. So. That's one thing I was saying. I was like, I feel like uh, everything, the way it came out, it looks like it's been here already. Like, yeah. it's not weird. You can actually compare it, the, the brickwork around the lantern right here. Compare it to the French market. It doesn't look that different. Uh, this one compared to that. Yeah. Because that, that brickwork's been here for, oh. like, however many years. And right. then that. Yeah. So, Came out good. Looks bad. It doesn't look bad. Wow. A lot has been and freed up. And you can up. see straight ahead, being that the planter is now so small, look how much room there is on either side for guests to walk. Let's go on the other side and get a perspective from okay. there. And then just to kind of give a perspective, this is what it looks like going out into like Haunted Mansion. And then uh, all this viewing that's over here on the right, you would be looking into Fantasmic in yeah. this angle. And uh, you could, I don't know... Uh, when we were here last, Mondo, you and I, the the platforms were raised, but they had no lighting on them. Yeah. Now they're starting to put lighting back on, so it looks like Fantasmic's getting a whole new set of infrastructure. So, kind of what went down with World of Color, too, yeah, with all yeah. the projectors over there. But you can see, look at this. Look how wide this pathway is over here now. Wow. There's just so much space. Yeah, never that, those problems. that is literally completely new. This is cool. This used to be, if you remember, this was the big planner that always, like, there was, like, a DVC sales unit thing right oh, here. Oh, I remember, yeah. And then every time, like, it was fantastic, people would just cram into this little opening over here. Yeah, I remember. And never knew which way to go. People were all jammed. <laughs> it's not going to happen anymore. Damn. I got this one because I All right. It's a little late in the day. Let's see. Anything new? No, I was not so world of color <laughs> this is a jolly holiday treat i don't danny <laughs> that is so cool so it's themed for uh Main Street electrical parade and it's a brownie and what was the cost of this one that was like five bucks. Ah, oh, it's not bad. Yeah. Dang it. So we ended up going to Jolly Holiday. Our buddy Chris uh, ended up getting one of the treats there. And we were told that the macaroon that has like the Main Street Electrical uh, like logo on the macaroon that's a, like a circle shape, uh, that one just sold out instantly in the morning. They did say they may be restocking it, but I don't think so. I think those one of those that macaroon is like one of those things that you just kind of get it in the morning. Yeah. We're gonna call it a day. Had a wonderful, wonderful start to the nighttime spectaculars returning over here at Disneyland. Uh, we're going to be covering World of Color, Main Street Electrical Parade, and fireworks later on in the day. But for this video, this is it. <laughs> All the merch and everything that went down today, uh, it pretty w it went pretty smooth considering like mobile order and uh, the lines that we had to wait. It was not that bad. It was not that bad. <laughs> All right, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. And thank you for supporting the fire. We are farting it down, farting it down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Ah. <laughs>